just a small little um, Walmart haul and I got something new from Dunkin Donuts just came out today um, at least here in Maine so I'm gonna show you guys that first so the thumbnail will say Dunkin Donuts um, and Walmart so M needed something. They are all sold out of bathing suits um, unless you are extremely small um, at Walmart. And M needed something for the pool. So we compromised. We found her something. It's not a swimsuit. Um, but she needed something. So I found her a few uh, cute little items. So I'm going to be showing you guys that. It's nothing big. This isn't going to be no great big huge uh, video. Um, so anyway, the first thing that we got, you guys, at Dunkin' Donuts. How stinking cute is this? Do you guys know they sell dog toys now? Um, so this is a Duncan dog toy, Bark times Duncan. And how it works is you got your toy here that you pull off for them, okay? And then they said that you can put their treats in here. Um, or I guess it could just be for, uh, another dog toy for them to chew on or whatever but <clears throat> super stinking cute so you get your donut dog toy and then this pops open treats um you could use it for other stuff i'm sure but it makes that sound so see how cute this just it's attached to it right now. So I wanted to show you guys that we just picked that up and I thought that was super stinking cute and had to share it with you guys if you guys like Dunkin' Donuts and if you have doggies. So, first thing, we needed sunscreen. Um, I got the Equate brand, it's the value size. Sunscreen SPF 50 water resistant for 80 minutes um i always get sunscreen leave it out on the deck we spray ourselves before we go into the pool and then we will spray ourselves when we come out we don't usually stay inside the pool for 80 minutes if we did we'd end up getting out and respraying again M is really, really fair skinned. Um, obviously, you guys have seen her. I have to be very careful when she's outside because she burns super easy. Um, so I've always used Equate. Um, prior to Equate, I used to use Copper, I believe it was the Copper Tone Baby. It has the baby on it. Um, and I always use that for her. And there was also a brand that I used to get at the Dollar Tree. I can't remember um, the name of it now. But I did used to use uh, Kind from there as well. So yes, we did get this. This is uh, 9.1 ounces. I can't remember what I paid for it, guys. I hauled this yesterday and I don't know what I did with my receipt. Um... So that is that. Then let's get into the few clothes I got. So I'm going to take them off the hangers because I'm sure you guys don't want to see the hanger. So this is the material um, I ended up getting her for. It's called Dry Works. These are um, athlete, athletic works. Um, Walmart sells it obviously these were nine dollars and 96 cents so I got her these for the pool now 
the thing I like about these, she doesn't just, so this is um, what it would look like, guys. Um, and the thing that I like about um, this particular short is it had like a little pocket. So if you want to put something in there, so she can wear these outside of the pool too. But my main purpose of getting a material like this was because of the pool. I knew when she got out and dried off, this is something that we can hang on the deck to dry. Um, that's what we usually do with our stuff after we go swimming in the pool. We get dressed and then we hang it over the deck. Then they had these. This was marked down, guys. This was a leftover um, from the 4th of July. So I told her, I said, well, if you don't want a um, top, then you can get just a regular t-shirt. So she ended up picking this up. Um, M doesn't like uh, the material like them pants and the shirts because they stick really tight to you. She doesn't like her shirts being that way. She likes her shirts being loose and flowy. So we did end up finding her, like I said, this. This was left over from the 4th. It says um, home of the free and inside the shirt it says home free. And then the outside just says um, M-E home sweet home so I don't know if the shirt was supposed to stand for Maine or if it's supposed to be just me home sweet home um, but I got her that it says that it was $8.88 um, I know I didn't pay $8.88 for it though it was um, marked down so there was that and then you guys when I saw these I am like M needs them she's gonna go crazy she loves Spongebob you guys know this um, I think I told you guys that when I did the um, makeup that I got her for her birthday so you guys these were $12.98 they're tie-dyed. Oh, yes, you guys know I love tie-dye, but M likes tie-dye, too. And at the bottom of the shorts, there is SpongeBob. So, I ended up getting her these. They do have a drawstring so that you can um, tighten the waist. I wasn't sure. They only had one size left. So I grabbed it for her and I just figured she can pull the waist if they're too big. So, yeah. So you guys, how stinking cute is that? So that is why I got her those. So that's it, guys. That was just a really small haul from Walmart. Um, like I said, I went in there just to find her something to wear and I had to share with you guys those, um, SpongeBob shorts and maybe some of you guys are having the same deal with not being able to find bathing suits. You guys, I went online. Bathing suits are so expensive and not just that. I have bought bathing suits online in the past and um, I've gotten the size that I've worn before, get it home, and it doesn't fit. So, um, I'm just going to pass me my purse. Um, it doesn't fit. So, I won't order a bathing suit online um, because of that. Hold on and I'll hand you this. So, I won't buy... Um, a bathing suit online because of that reason because I don't want to get it and then you get it home and obviously it does not fit so that is why we went with the route in this and maybe you guys you know might need to do the same thing so 
think outside the box and get yourself some I think that them are called um, sorry my nose itches I think them are called that material is called neoprene so find yourself something with like that neoprene and and um, compromise so with that being said guys this is it um, this is my video for today I'm sorry you guys for those of you guys that like great big long huge videos um, not a break a great big long huge video um, and to let you guys know, I am collabing with another YouTuber, um, and we are going to be each doing a Dollar Tree haul. Um, they will be going up on Friday. Um, our videos are going up at different times, though, I believe, um, because our stuff works out differently. So, I will be posting mine um, on Friday, and she will be posting hers, but I'm just not sure what time she's posting hers. But anywho's, with that being said, remember you guys, be kind, stay safe, um, God bless you all, be blessed, um, and I hope it is nice where you guys live. It is finally nice here. It is 74 degrees. Um, and it's nice out. So I'm happy about that because it has been raining for like the past four days here. For those of you guys that were wondering, yes, my neck is doing fine. See, I can move it. It just hurts a little bit when I touch right there. M felt super bad uh, about that happening. It's not her fault, you guys. Um, obviously you guys know that. But what had happened was, for those of you guys, um, and I asked him if he liked basketball. And he said, yes, I like basketball. And I said, well, I have a basketball hoop. Well, the whole, you know what I mean, you guys. The whole basketball thing. I said, and um, M doesn't use it anymore. It's just in the backyard uh, by the pool because she used to um, use it sometimes if we were in the pool and just throw it but that became a nightmare because she'd throw it and then sometimes it would come back in the pool sometimes it'd go out of the pool and then you're in and out off the ladder it was crazy she didn't want it anymore so she's like no if he wants that let him have it um, so I talked to his mom and she said that that was fine that she thought that whoops she thought that that was a great idea for him because yes he does get extremely bored all kids do um so M was helping me as you guys know at the time my car was being fixed well our fenced in backyard has a key and is locked because we used to have a bigger swimming pool and in our state or in our town um, when you have a big pool like that it our insurance said you have to have it gated so we've always had our backyard gated and I didn't have the key. I felt bad because I had already asked him if he wanted it. He was excited, you guys. He was just waiting out front, pacing back and forth, waiting for me to bring that up. And I could not break his heart and tell him, oh, I don't have the key to get it out for you. So M said, mom, I'll help you and we can lift it over the fence. Well, the way I was standing, stupid on my part, uh, we got the base of it over the gate. I told her, don't let go of it. She didn't let go. And then I forgot, not thinking that the big round hoop part is right behind me. So I said, okay, easily let go. Well, when she let go, that came up and smacked me 
in the back of my neck. Um, I'm fine. I'm living. It didn't do any major damage. Thank you, Jesus, for that. Um, but my neck, it's a little bit sore in a spot where it hit. But I can move it, as you guys can see. Um, it just feels like if somebody punched you in the arm really hard. And then, of course, it's going to hurt for a little bit because you got smacked there. And I have a ant in my car there. So, anyway, you guys, I'm done babbling. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And me or Em will catch you in the next video and we hope you guys have a great day and we love you and welcome to all of our new subscribers and our returning subscribers we love all of you so you guys you know what this means too this means I will be able to do another D stash video on mask Monday so for those of you guys that are new, if you have never watched my Mask Mondays back four, five weeks ago now, I started doing some D-Stash um, videos. We do a lot of Dollar Tree hauls over here. So on Monday, I like to give back. I don't need all that stuff that I usually get at Dollar Tree. I usually try to either craft it, send it in friend mail, or give it away. Well, I've been trying to do giveaways because as we all know, fall is coming. That is one of me and M's favorites is Halloween and Christmas. So when they start coming out with new stuff, we are going to start getting it. Another thing, you guys, I have gone and looked at Dollar Trees. Yes, there is. Um, our Dollar Trees have some um, Halloween stuff out. But it, I mean, fall things out. But it's stuff from last year. And I'm not going to repurchase things that obviously we already have. So, with that being said, I'm going to stop babbling now. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And we will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Music.